YouTube family. So welcome back to another video. Today is going to be an exciting video. I'm really nervous, but I'm really excited about this. So um, if you guys do not know already, I am an event planner and um, I have a wedding tomorrow that I am planning for a client. And so um, obviously you can get your centerpieces from a floor or florist but our couple has a very limited budget and so we do create um centerpieces ourselves you know if they're going to be like basic simple ones and normally i'll show you guys like a couple of photos of what we would normally do but i was shopping at goodwill looking for things that could be repurposed for our events and i found these awesome tall vases for only 2 dollars each so i bought a bunch of these and i'm going to try my hand at building a nice centerpiece um that you know like looks like it's floating on top of the glass so come with me on this journey why don't you so they come I got these flowers from Costco actually and they come in these boxes um, I thought these were gonna arrive in the morning but it's actually almost 6 30 p.m. and they just arrived so just keep that in mind and try to like plan ahead this is the day before the event so I wish I could have got them to deliver yesterday so it would be two days before the event but it wasn't available because this it's the holiday season so yeah but I got a package of the assorted greens I got and I have a box of a hundred stems of of carnations and I think 50 stems of white roses so let's get started so I am starting off by unboxing all of the flowers and getting them into my bucket I have filled the bucket with the flower food that came in the boxes and the packages so I just put a couple of packages of the flower food in the bucket and I am unwrapping all of the flowers and then trimming the stems. So I'm cutting off um, a good like inch and a half from the bottom of the flowers and then getting them all inserted into the vase.
so next it is time to go ahead and prep the base for your centerpiece so I am adding a couple of packets of the floral food into this large vase and I'm going to use it to soak up the wet foam that will be used as the base to build the centerpiece so this is wet foam that I just got from Michaels and you just drop it in to your water and you want to let it sink naturally by itself you don't want to ever push down on the foam because the foam needs to completely soak up water because this is going to act as the water source for your flowers in the centerpiece especially if you're making your centerpieces a day or two before the wedding or event so let it sink by itself it only takes a couple of minutes and then it won't leave any air pockets and it will be the perfect source of hydration for all of your flowers and your centerpiece so now that it has sunk all the way by itself you're just going to carefully pull it out it does get really heavy and just let it drip on its own for a few seconds and then now you are ready to actually build your centerpieces so you want to cut the floral foam you want it to sit just about an inch above um, the bowl that you put your foam in so you want a bowl to act as the base to build your flowers in especially that way you can transport the vase and the flowers like separately not on top of each other so you want it your floral foam extending only an inch above and then you want to bevel the edges so I just cut the edges at an angle on all four sides and then I'm using waterproof waterproof floral tape to secure the foam to the little bowl um, and you want to go around a good three or four times the first time I did it I didn't go around enough so the tape kept coming off so you really want to secure it nicely, go around it three or four times so it's really secured. And then um, you might want to tuck the edges of the foam or the tape under the bowl and into each other just so that it sticks better. But once you have that done, then you are really ready to build your centerpieces. And I went ahead and built mine on top of the vases just so I could see how it's extending a little bit better than if I were to build it like just on the table. So I am starting off by cutting the stems of the flower as I go along. I start off using the filler flowers first. You could do it the opposite way um, and do your like actual flowers first, but... I did the filler first and I'm making sure to cut off a very significant portion of the the stems because the centerpieces are not that large or they're not going to be that overflowing so the mistake that I made with the first one was not cutting the stems short enough so I learned my lesson and I cut the stem very very short so it's only extending maybe three or four inches off the side of the vase and then I stuck those in and you might have to trim off some of the leaves and pull off some of the leads but it actually works really well because if you make a nice cut on the stem like if you measure out how much you need to cut off and then do the cut you will be able to use the excess stem that you cut off if it still has leaves on it as more filler later on so it made it so that I could really extend the amount of florals that I could make and how full it was because I used the excess stem and leaves that I had cut off as additional filler so that worked really really well especially with your roses your roses have awesome stems that are very leafy that make great filler so 
really just take your time but it's not anything specific like you don't have to put it in specific spots just really go around it and just stick the stems anywhere that looks nice try to keep it even and then once you've got a good amount of filler start going in with your flowers i'm using the carnations here and just sticking them in between the filler plants that i already put in and just keep going until you have a beautiful piece and you know if you're doing multiple center pieces just try to divide up the flowers and the filler evenly so you know how many you can use per center piece and then don't be afraid to start over if need be just remember you can remove these flowers um, just make sure that if you do take it out at all that you take it out completely and pick a slightly different spot to go in at because if you pull out the flower at all you're creating an air pocket and your flower will not get proper water that was my first attempt trying to get the floral arrangement uh, and my mistake was one the plastic bowl that I used underneath was too large and then I made the foam block too big and the flowers I did not cut enough so this will be like a throwaway one I mean I can reuse the flowers um, but I will have to redo that so one. here are the finished products so I made three with like or I made two of these with like a more yellow look two of these using the baby's breath instead of the yellow and then here's the big one which will set on the head family table and then I had extra baby's breath so that I just put in a vase and I'll put that out somewhere as extra little decor. I made this little arrangement here um, that I'll probably put on like the party favors table, but I'll show you what all the centerpieces look like when they're completely finished because I will need to put, or you know, they're all gonna sit on top of a clear vase filled with water and then I have a couple extra flowers so I'm going to put the flowers in like a cute way inside of the vase to decorate the inside of the vase. All right you guys, so what do you think of the centerpieces I created? Like I said, it was my first time trying to do something like that. And I think they came out really beautiful. Um, like I said, I totally botched the first attempt, but then I just undid it and did that one again. And they all turned out so beautiful. And I had intended for them all to sit on top of the tall vases. And I was just going to glue the base onto the top of the vase and everything. But then when I got to the event, which was yesterday, so I made the flowers two days ago, and then the event was yesterday, so uh, on Saturday. Today is Sunday when this video should be going up, and um, yeah. So when I got to the event, we were getting ready, and I was getting ready, or I was starting to put the flowers on top of the vases, and then, but it was like pretty crazy and like things were like happening and accidentally knocked over two of the vases and they broke. Yeah. Two of the vases broke before the event. So then uh, we decided to, so there was four total, four of the tall vases and then one big, the one big vase that was going to be on the head table so we decided to not use the tall skinny vases on the other tables and so we just sat those centerpieces directly on the table and then just did the really tall vase for the um head table or the head family table 
And then we ended up taking that one down too during the event because the bride and groom requested us take it down because it was like blocking um, everyone's view. So yeah, but it, this still turned out beautiful even sitting all sitting on the table. And I'll show you guys that um, in like the next video. I've got some like clips from the wedding. So I'm going to show you kind of like behind the scenes of a wedding in Las Vegas, a backyard wedding. Um, which is completely planned and everything by me. And, but yeah, I think it turned out beautiful. Um, the flowers, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but the flowers were from Costco.com. So Costco flowers ordered in bulk. And uh, yeah, I made all of those centerpieces from there. So I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It gives me great confidence because I am making my own centerpieces for my wedding, which is in April, which is only in four months it's like 90 less than four months I mean it's like I think it's like three months now it's only like 90 days from now so oh, I'm so excited um but yeah I'm gonna be making my own centerpieces for my own wedding so this was like a great like I don't want to say trial run but it kind of was a great trial run for my centerpieces um so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you think I did a great job, let me know down in the comments. If you have any questions or anything about um, like how I did it and the experience, um, let me know. Please thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And subscri subscribe to the channel for more wedding content and DIY projects. And if you would like to receive notifications for whenever I post a video, please do not forget to hit that bell icon.